it is Tuesday. I'm on my way to my friend's house. Uh, the two girls that I got clothes for uh, while I was in Chicago. Um, I'm gonna go over to one of their house and I mean the other girl there as well and we're just gonna hang out and have lunch and I'm gonna give them their stuff so that it doesn't get lost in our house because that's what usually happens is I put it away somewhere and I can't find it. So I'm gonna do that and I don't think I'll record any just because I'm at somebody else's house and again it's just like, you know, it's just weird. I don't know if they want to be on camera either so I'm just gonna leave you guys behind for that. Afterwards I need to run a few more errands. Um, there are just a few little last minute things for Christmas. You know, you always say like you're done Christmas shopping, but I don't think anybody's ever really done until Christmas. <laughs> Even then I don't think people are really done because then you still have the get togethers after Christmas and it's just like a mess. But um, I have to, yeah, I have to get a few more things uh, and then I need to ship some stuff out. So we'll do that after. So we're at Kohl's right now because they have a 30% off coupon and I needed to do some last minute shopping like I said. It's late. I had a really fun time with my girlfriends. We're just kind of hung out and talked and had lunch. Kaya's down here. Why it's looking at Disney Infinity stuff. And I'm looking at some workout stuff. I don't know, this workout gear looks interesting. Probably needs to start working on her core. What do you guys think? So we just got done at Kohl's and I remember why I don't shop there anymore. Everything's overpriced and the, there's never enough cashiers there, especially during the holiday season. It makes no sense to me. But I signed up for this Yes To You rewards thing. I guess it's like for every $100 you spend, you get a $5 coupon. But there's an expiration on the coupons. Like you have to use them within the month of receiving them, which I've never understood those. Like I hate rewards programs that give you a deadline of when you can use your coupons. Cause it's like you earn them for spending a certain amount. So like aren't those yours then? Like why should you have to, I don't know. So I got the things that I went there searching for though. And I used my 30% off coupon and I don't ever carry around my Kohl's card with me because I feel like it's one extra card that I don't need to carry around because I never shop there. So I didn't realize that I had left my driver's license in my coat pocket that I took to Chicago for when I went through TSA. So I didn't have my driver's license on me for her to look up my card and apparently to use the 30% off coupon, you have to have your driver's license for them to look up your account. I didn't know that. So she was nice enough to let me use the coupon still and use it on a credit card, but it was just, or my debit card, but it was just like, such a hassle like I was like don't can I just put my social security number she's like no we need this and this and I guess that's good for security reasons but it was just like oh one more thing after standing there in line and sweating to death because it's so hot um, but I saved a good amount of money using my 30% off I saved $66 in one set so I thought that was a pretty good deal we're gonna go to Joanne's because I got a text message saying that they have 25% off your entire purchase right now so it's the perfect time to get more yarn for my crochet tutorial I need your guys' opinion. So it's gonna take me way longer than I thought to finish my crochet blanket just because I'm so busy. Like if I just had time to just sit and work on it for like a few days straight, I could finish it and knock it out of the park in like two days. But realistically, I can't do that with three kids and the holidays coming up. So I guess my question to you guys is, would you, would it be a bad tutorial if I just showed you guys how, I mean, I've already recorded stitching it and I'm starting it and all of that and really finishing it, there's nothing really to do to finish it. You literally just tie off your last end. So would it be a bad tutorial if I didn't show you the finished product? Like, you want to get it up like this month, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish the whole blanket. So let me know, leave a comment below and tell me like, I know a lot of, crocheting tutorials usually just show you part of the thing and how you know whatever but I wanted to show you the finished product but again it's gonna take me probably into January to do that so let me know what your guys' opinion is but I'm gonna stop by Joanne's and get my yarn since it is 25% off right now Ugh, it's 510 and it's already it doesn't look dark in this camera but it's dark out and it's raining and it's like warm this weather is making me not feel well my throat is starting to hurt the kids have like stuffy noses I don't know. All right, so I'm in the bag section because I need to get some stuff to put all of the people's little um, Christmas Eve pajamas in, like my sister and her girlfriend and my mom and my dad's that I bought them. I wanted to put them in nice little bags with tissue paper and they could come over and get them and then put them on. It's kind of a fun little gift. I also need wrapping paper for Sam and Monkey's gifts and then I also need to wrap my niece's present in some big bag because as you guys saw, it's a Greco pack and play and stroller for a doll, so they're kind of big. And then I need to get yarn. So luckily all the Christmas stuff is 70% off right now and I have an extra 25% off. I think I can use the same 
hope I can use. I don't know. We'll see. So I got all my yarn, but I had to go back to my YouTube video on my phone to reference which colors I got. So hopefully these are the right colors. It's your home, and it's onesie time. Because it's just cold. I don't know. It's like 40-something degrees out. I'm still cold for some reason. We're all sniffly now. I don't know. I must have brought plain germs home with me, but... I got, let's do a little shopping haul, shall we? We didn't really get anything interesting. I can't show you two of the things I got because they're presents for people. But I got this Restore by Gaim. It's a strong core back kit. And basically comes with like this weird shaped oval thing to help with like um, your abs and your back and building your core up. And I've tried Gaim products like this before and I love them. I have the hoop and I have, I have the hoop and then I have the small hoop, like the big hoop for hooping that's weighted, which really helped me get back into my pre-pregnancy pants. And then I also have the ring that you're supposed to use for crunches and stuff like that. And I love that thing too. So I thought I'd try this because I have a lot of lower back pain and so does John. And this was only $12 with my 30% off and everything. And then I got this Pilates studio thing as you guys saw. Um, I'm supposed to do, according to my physical therapist, I'm supposed to do a lot of uh, resistance training. Like, you know, with like rubber bands and stuff. So this thing looked really interesting. So I'm going to give it a go because as you guys know, we have a... Um, TV in our room now, so that's usually where I'm gonna work out. And I'm gonna try to get my body into shape because Kelly's looking a little bit pregos, which she's definitely not. I thought those were interesting, and for 30% off, I believe the Guy in Pilates Studio thing was $30 originally, and I got it for $18, so I thought that was a pretty good deal for that. So that's what I got from there, and then of course I got the stuff for people, my gifts. And then I went to Joann's and I got all of my yarn that I needed to continue working on my blanket, which I'll show you guys how far I've come before I ran out. So as you guys remember, I bought $62 worth of yarn after my discount um, about a week ago when I first started my tutorial. And my blanket's probably about five feet long. This is how wide I've gotten it. So it needs to be four times wider than this. So this is like a fourth. So this is going to be probably, no joke, a $200 blanket, um, but as I said in, or as I will say in my tutorial, your blanket doesn't have to be this expensive. I'm using really expensive, nice, chunky yarn. My mom's blanket that's right there, she uses, she used really cheap, like Walmart, thin, thin, six strand yarn. Um, so hers was like, you know, $30 to make. Mine is just, I'm using more expensive thick yarn because I would like to have this as kind of like a throw or lap blanket on our bed at the end to kind of add some color to our room. So this is like my forever blanket. So that's why I'm spending so much money on this one. But again, you can make them super cheap by just using thinner, cheaper yarn. Also, my blanket's gonna be super chunky. As you can see, it's like really heavy and heavy weight because again, I'm using chunkier yarn. done with dinner. Oh no, I'm tracking noodles into the living room. No! Kai was throwing food on the kitchen floor, but um, I got my sweatpants around me. I made some gypsy cold care tea by traditional medicinals or whatever it's called because my throat hurts, my nose is running, and the kids are all sick. So I'm just assuming I'm getting sick too. Um, look what came in the mail though. So John said that the FabFitFun box came for me. It's a little bit like it's a little bit rocked like it's been it's been it's been through something but um it's really heavy I don't know I don't know where it came from <laughs> I didn't like sign up for anything I didn't pay for anything I didn't get any notification about them wanting to work with me on a review so I don't know what month this is but I'll open that on camera and then I also got a Japan crate box to open up for you guys so Maybe I'll do that in the next two days and get those videos up, but I thought that was interesting. I hope it's the winter box, because I hear the winter box is supposed to be pretty cool, and when I bought a box a few weeks uh, in October, I really liked that box, so interesting. Fun little surprise. Uh-oh. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go wrap presents and get this. No. There's, yes. No. There's noodle on my sock. That's disgusting. Ew. Ew is right. Ugh. I should probably cut this open, like pre-cut it open, right? So that he can like. Let's take a look at it. Where did my tape go? It's right here behind you. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Does it come with all those supplies? Yep. Quick, close it. It's right there. Can't. <laughs> That was a close one. Wyatt almost saw his gift. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. You're hiding? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go hide some more. Uh oh, I'm out of tape. I'm hiding. I'm out of tape. I'm out of tape. I'm hiding. Thank goodness I bought I'm some tape at the hiding. store. I'm hiding. You're hiding? Yeah. Well, you're not hiding very well if I can see you, sweetheart. I feel like Kai is pooping in the hallway. Hey. Keep the door closed. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Just close the door. Okay, close the door, please, so I can wrap this. Mm -hmm. I guess I wrap my presents. Yep, I'm gonna wrap presents. Close the door. Wrap my presents. I'll wrap your presents. Go close it. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye bye. And and wrap my presents. <gasps> yes, I'm gonna wrap all the presents. Bye bye. Close the door. Thought she'd never leave. No. Leave the door closed, sweetness. Ah! This box is heavy. Oh, where did my scissors go? Okay. Anybody else use tons of tape when they wrap their presents? I use tons of tape. Oh, this bed is getting in my way. That was the worst <laughs> line I've ever cut. I used to have one of those like scissory type things, you know, or the like, I don't remember, the scalpel scissor thingy that uh, that tape company came out with to make wrapping easier. I swear I buy one every year and then they just disappear. I don't know where they go. You hear John screaming? Oh oh. He's so loud. Our house is not a quiet place when it comes to getting ready for bed. But anyways, I also used to have that thing that like goes on your hand with tape and stuff. Do I know where any of that stuff is come today? No. So every holiday season I usually buy like it over again. And this year I was like, forget it. I'm not buying it again. I keep losing them. I don't know where they are. Forget it. Let's use regular tape and scissors like normal human beings do. <clears throat> Man, my throat hurts so bad. I am totally getting sick and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So, I'm not going to tell you guys what I got my mom for Christmas because if I tell you it would ruin the surprise. I can't tell you what I got Sam because she watches these videos too. But, yeah. But I'm going to wrap my other gifts. So for my dad, I got him a sweater from Gap and then I got him a sweater from Eddie Bauer. And so I'm going to take the tags off. And then I also am giving this handkerchief that we got in um, one of John's subscription boxes in October. It's an anchor chief, ha 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 ha, because it's got anchors on it. John doesn't use handkerchiefs, but my dad is totally old school. He does not use tissues. He uses a hanky from his pocket. Yes, that is my father. So I'm gonna wrap this love one. So, well that was terrible wrapping. So, this bag is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh well, we'll just have to shove a lot of <laughs> tissue paper in here. I feel like this is like a good like how not to wrap your presents by Kelly. Oh, I don't feel well, I need to go to bed. I'm gonna try to go to bed early, edit this video and go to bed early cause John's gonna be working the long hours the next two days. And then this weekend I'm meeting a subscriber, like I had mentioned in earlier videos. Um, she's gonna drive, we're gonna drive out and meet halfway uh, between our houses and I'm gonna meet her for the first time. I have no clue who she is. And when I say no clue, I mean I've never met her before. She doesn't vlog or anything, so I'm excited. It should be a fun time. So now I'm gonna wrap up the pajamas. Even though 
even though they're not really gifts because it's part of our Christmas Eve celebration that I'm making my sisters and my mom and dad join us in. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna wrap them just for fun. So I got my mom this like shirt to match with. She already had some pajama pants from Eddie Bauer that she picked up. So I'm gonna wrap that up for her with my dad's pajamas, which if you did not know, I will show you what those look like. His pajamas, I got him a shirt that says, has the Grinch on it, and it says, I must stop the Christmas music from coming, which is perfect if you know my dad. Oh, these are super soft. So I got that for him. And then I got him pants. I got him flannel pants in a size large that just look like that because I figure, I don't know, just neutral, Christmassy. Then for my sister and her girlfriend, I got matching pajamas because I didn't know what else to get them. I got shirts that said, don't be a flake. And then I got them the same flannel pants as my dad because they said they wanted the flannel pants option and not the fleece option, which is what I did for myself, so. I'm so excited. I have my pajamas, I have the kids' pajamas, I have John's pajamas, I have my mom's pajamas, I have my sister and her girlfriend's pajamas, and we're just gonna have a fun Christmas Eve pajama party. And that will be just super fun, I think. With popcorn and movies. I think I wanna watch Santa Claus. I don't know, I think we're gonna take a vote on what kind of Christmas movie we watch, but I'm just excited. Cause this is, again, you guys know, this is our first Christmas Eve kind of celebration because we're not really doing anything big on Christmas since my family's all gonna be separated, but I'm going to make the most out of Christmas Eve instead, and I think it'll be a lot of fun, so. Nanner nanner boo boo. This is going to be a fun Christmas, whether people like it or not. So most likely I'm not going to get the award for best rapper, but that's alright, because it's not what's outside that matters, it's what's inside. So I got Monkey and Sam's presents wrapped, I have my niece's presents wrapped, I have the pajamas and my dad's presents wrapped, and Wyatt's. Now I just need to wrap um, my mom's last gift, start assembling the Christmas Eve box, which all that stuff is in there for that, and there's some stuff here, and then I need to wrap this for Ava, because this is the other thing we got for her. Just so that she'd have something else to open to, since her other one's a big one. Alright guys, so I am done wrapping all of the presents. I just need to ship out Monkey and Sam's, all of the kids' presents, all of my parents' presents. They're all underneath there. My niece, um, my mom is also, I went out on a gift with my mom or my sister, so that gift is at their house. Excuse me. But I also wrapped the Christmas Eve box. And that's, it doesn't look very nice on the inside just because I'm gonna put a bunch of tissue paper in there so that everything lays nicely on top, but that's just all the stuff for the Christmas Eve box that I need to wrap and make look nice, but this is kind of what it is. I'm gonna add a bow around the outside maybe, but yeah, there it is. I'm excited, very excited. Hi. Um, if you want me to go through the Christmas Eve box and show you guys what I put in there, let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up or comment below. Let me know sooner or later because I'm going to want to wrap everything and get everything finalized before too long. But yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go because I need to edit this video and I don't feel well because I'm getting a cold and the kids need to go to bed. So we will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.